my YouTube channel. Today I am going to do simulation on Farouk Card Solo Cell. So please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such videos. Let's start with the coding. So go atlas. Where I start writing the code is called deck build. There I will run atlas module. You can see here. And then I will run the mesh space dot melt equal to one. That means that meshing spacing is uh, multiple of one. And then I define the x meshing and y meshing uh, depend on my structure. What is my structure? So that I will show you here. Uh, so this is my structure. So I have defined meshing according to that. And uh, then I have defined the region. You can see that the air at uh, like air is uh, all around the surface and then ITO, then NIO, uh, and then perovskite material, and then ZNO. So after that, uh, like there is an anode, which is ITO, and the cathode as aluminum. So and there is a doping with reference to my paper. Uh, I have added the doping. You can see here region 2 have a doping of 2E16 and region 3 have a 5.6E16. So that means 5.6 into 10 to power 16. And that is P type similarly for N type at region 4 and similarly N type for region 5. You can see here. And then I have defined the material properties here. You can see that uh, real dot index and imagery dot index of air, ITO material and the NIO material and its carrier lifetime, its permittivity, its affinity, its uh, conduction band density and its valence band density and then mobility of electron, mobility of holes and then uh, like this is a not available material in Silvaku so I have defined using uh, user dot group and user dot default this is a way to define the material uh, which is not available in Silvaku so you can define any material which is not available in Silvaku by giving its uh, default material and its uh, group uh, there and uh, you can easily define the material here so similarly for perovskite it is not available in Silvaku so what I have done is I have added its properties and uh, like uh, affinity permittivity and uh, conduction band density valence band density mobility and uh, this is supra file uh, of that which I have made uh, for my own. It is not uh, available in Silvaku. So you have to make your own. Uh, so I will also make a video on that. So please uh, write in comment if you need that video for uh, NK file, how to make it NK file for anything, right? And then this is a career lifetime. This is a career lifetime which I have defined here. Similarly, here also this is not available material. So I have defined it user.group semiconductor and user.default user gallium nitride. So now similarly for ZNO and similarly for aluminum. So then I save the structure and this, this is a structure file. So I've saved the structure and generate the structure. That is structure is this one. So this structure is I have generated and then I have added a beam of light over that surface and uh, use a, mat a method named uh, tr.matrix which I have already explained you in previous videos and angle at which the light is coming is 90 degree models so here i have used srh fermi and ni dot fermi optr auger and vision as my models and for printing that models in my run runtime output i have used the print statement in method i have defined newton and Orton r trap and max trap as a 10 right then there's an output statement and then i have defined the contact statement and work function as a 5.75 and cathode as work function of 4.6 and its reflect properties as a 1 and then I have used solve init solve prev and solve b1 equal to 1 then I have defined the log file which is illumination.log and that is going to do DC sweep here uh, with the anode so anode is uh, increasing their voltage with 0 to 0 0.6 with step of 0 0.001 and then there is a like I have printed the illumination.log file which is I will show you here this is the elimination.log file but is I got, got from this uh, curve so that is that and then I have generated the uh, like extract that file and then I like generated the JSC and VOC and PM and form factor and optical intensity and if sensi there so you can see that thing here my like you can see that whatever I result get I whatever the result I got it I will show you here so that is all so this is uh, my simulation part and if you have any doubt you can contact me in my comment box and on my email address whatever I have given here 
and also uh, like there is a efficiency is very low here you can see that 1.42 right uh, so that is very small so poor like in subsequent video i will try to make this how i have improving this result by arc coating or you can say uh, with the help of surface texturing i will show you everything here so please subscribe my video and and that's all from my side today